Hey everybody, my name is Fallout and today I have a basic tutorial for you on how to use the Charge Blade from Monster Hunter World. This weapon can be a little complicated for those who have never picked it up before, but I'm actually enjoying it a lot, so I'm here to give you a very simple breakdown. For the record, I'm giving button layouts for the PlayStation 4, that's where I play Monster Hunter World on, but if you're on Xbox One, just go ahead and make the obvious button changes for everything that I'm saying. Okay, let's start with the basics. There are two different ways to use this weapon. There is your sword and shield mode, which you can use for relatively quick slicing and also blocking incoming damage. And then you have axe mode, where you put your weapons together, kind of like a Voltron style, to create one big weapon in the form of a giant axe. The axe attacks are slower, but they will hit for much more damage. Before going into what combos are available for both weapon forms, let's talk about the most important aspect of the charge blade, which involves something called files. A little tricky to learn, but the easiest way to understand it if you're hearing about it for the first time, when I say files, just think to yourself, awesome power. You will notice up here in the top left corner that there are several white looking jars which are empty. Those are your empty file jars and these are your goals to unleashing the awesome power of the files. Step 1. Fill the jars. Step 2. Store the jars. Step 3. Unleash the power. Step 1. In order to fill the jars, you must use charged attacks while in sword and shield mode. To do this, briefly hold down circle to charge, release circle to hit with a quick charged attack, then if you want, you can follow up with an additional attack for more hits and more charging. I prefer holding circle than releasing for the quick charged attack and following up with triangle plus circle as it's quick and it does good damage. But you can also do a holding circle into a standard triangle attack or you can do a holding circle into another circle which will let you do a sliding attack. It, it really doesn't matter. As long as you lead off your attack with a quick charge from holding and releasing circle then following up with something else, you will eventually start filling your jars. Eventually, as you land these charged attacks, you will begin to notice that the jars will change color. They will go from white to eventually flashing red, and when they are flashing red, you are done and you're ready for step to store the files. This is performed by holding R2 and then pressing circle. Do this and you'll notice that the jars are no longer red, but they are white and full. That means that you have stored your files. Now it's time for step three, unleash that power. And there's three different ways that you can do that. One, you can spend them directly via your ax hits for big damage. Two, you can spend them by powering up your shield for better defense and slightly more damaging axe hits, or three, you can spend them by powering up your sword for slicing with some additional little burst damage. But take note, you can only power up your sword if you have already powered up your shield. If you would ask me, my favorite is to use my file power in straight up axe mode attacks which do very hard hitting damage. Pressing R2 and triangle can take you directly into axe mode either right off the bat or you can end a sword and shield combo with R2 and triangle to finish your combo with an axe swing. When in axe mode, your bread and butter moves are the straight up circle, 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 which is the element discharge attack into amped element discharge. Or you can just do triangle and circle together to go straight to the amped elemental discharge swing. Take note that even though the amped elemental discharge does big damage, it will put you right back into sword and shield mode afterwards. So if you want to stay in axe mode, you can end your elemental discharge with triangle rather than circle to do a rising slash and you will remain in axe mode. A great way to deal damage is to start off in sword mode. You can use circle and triangle together three times, which will let you finish with the amped element discharge attack with your axe. But again, that will put you back into sword and shield mode at the end, meaning you can kind of do a rinse and repeat if you want. If you want to spend your files by powering up your shield, once your files are filled and stored, aka the bottles are white, then while in axe mode, perform your 
amped element attack by hitting triangle and circle together. Then before the attack finishes, press R2 to cancel it and you will enter sword and shield mode, now with a glowing shield. Not only will this provide you with better defense when guarding with your shield, which is done in sword mode by holding down R2, but powering up your shield will also make your axe attacks do more damage. With a powered up shield, your axe will do an additional 9.5 to 10% extra damage, somewhere in that range, and the effect will last for a maximum of 2.5 minutes if you transferred all of your files into your shield. Not bad. If you want to spend your files by powering up your sword, first you have to have a powered up shield. That is a prerequisite. Then while in sword mode, hold R2 followed by circle and then during the charge up animation, briefly hold down triangle until your sword begins to charge and look a little bit electric, then release triangle. Now your sword will hit the ground, it will be charged and while your sword won't necessarily hit harder directly, every strike with your sword will now give off additional little explodey phylon damage. The charged up sword effect will last for about 45 seconds, and if you ask me, you're better off either using your Phylons for straight up charged axe attacks, say that 10 times fast, axe attacks, or if you really want to crack somebody's head open, power up your shield, then get more Phylons while your shield is already charged, and then start swinging your axe around, preferably ending with an amped element attack. That will leave a mark. So, if you're out in the world getting ready to hunt a big-ass monster, maybe go find some weak animals first, charge up your sword, get easy phylons from them, then when you're powered up, go in at full strength against the big bad monster, hopefully somewhat nearby. Overall, the charge blade is a really fun weapon. It's versatile, it's got some defensive blocking and quick slashing, but it also has some very heavy hitting swings if you know how to charge it and use it properly. If you like this video and you learned something and you would like to see more, please hit like, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and also it helps me out a lot, so I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, get out there and bash some monster heads in, and I will see you next time.